So, we need to work out this area R. How are we going to do it? Well, the area of any curve or any space like this underneath the curve bounded by two lines and the x-axis, you should know then, is the integral of y with respect to x and the limits go from 0 to 2, from 0 to 2. Okay, so all we need to do is just put in what our y value is and we've got 3 then over the square root of 1 plus 4x. Don't forget the dx on the end, okay? So we're integrating with respect to x. Now to do this, if I've got a constant in an integral, I would always drag it out the front, put it in front of the integral. You don't have to do that, but it is a good habit to get into, okay? It's not going to stop you getting the uh, right answer, I hope, but it means that you've got an uncluttered integral. That would leave us with 1 over the square root of 1 plus 4x. Now, square root is to the power a half. So you've got 1 over 1 plus 4x to the power half. Bring that up to the top now, and you've got 1 plus 4x to the power minus a half. And again, don't forget to write dx. So, how do we integrate this? Well, you should know this particular rule that if you've got something of the form a, a plus bx to the power n and you're integrating this with respect to x what you do is you just simply add 1 to the power so that's going to be n plus 1 divide by the new power so that's going to be n plus 1 and you also divide by the b here okay so that's b now, I've omitted the plus c here, okay? I just want to show you this point. So, when we come over to here then, if we follow this rule, we just simply add 1 to the power. So, adding 1 to minus a half is a half. So, we've got 1 plus 4x, all to the power half. Divide by the new power, so that's half. And also, divide by the b value which in this example is 4. All right? And we can put this in square brackets and the limits from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. Now all we need to do is clean this up. We've got half of 4 is 2 and we can pull the 2 out the front so we get 3 over 2. So we've got 3 over 2 or 1 and a half and then we have 1 plus 4x to the power half between those limits again, 0 and 2. Now we just need to substitute the limits in. If we substitute the limits in, we've got, put in the 2 first of all, we've got 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9, so you've got 9 to the power half. Put the 0 through, and you're just left with 1 to the power half, and you have to subtract that, so 1 to the power half. Now, 9 to the power half means square root of 9, which is 3, and square root of 1 is 1, so we've got 3 take away 1, which is 2. So, 3 over 2 times 2 is 3. So, essentially, the area of R is 3. But I always like to put, on the end, if I'm finding an area, something like units squared. I mean, if this was in centimetres, this area would be centimetre squares, for instance. But because we don't know what the units are, just units, then I feel it appropriate to put units squared on the end. I'm often asked, though, will you lose marks if you don't leave this out? The answer is no. OK, I just like to do that for completeness. OK, well, there you go. That brings us to the end of the first part, then, of this question.